life in layout and today I have another pass holder pocket page and I actually have two layouts for you because one of them this first one here is of when we saw Alice it is just a 6 by 12 layout so it just has two pocket pages and I have obviously her autograph and then two three by four photos of myself with and Alice with my friend Tina and then a picture of just Tina and Alice and I didn't want to just put the pictures in there like I would if there was actually a three by four pocket which I have done before in the four by six pockets but I wanted to add a little something extra to it since this is just a half of a 12 by 12 it's only a 6 by 12 and there's only truly three photos uh, the 4 by 6 photo that is in there that I am not doing anything to is a picture of, of just me and Alice so I found this heart paper and this blue paper and I'm going to use the heart paper that has happy and magic and arrows to back these two photos and I'm going to put them on an angle so that you can still see the some of the design in the back of it and then I am trimming out just a little bit off of the autograph book that I had and I'm gonna add it on this white cardstock because both of the papers are blue but they're a different shade of blue so I wanted to give them a little border around her autograph to add a little something special to it so once I get her autograph down, I added the teacups because obviously from Alice in Wonderland, they had teacups. I did want to add a second one, but I just didn't like the way it looked. And I tried to add it to the photos, but that still didn't work out either. So I took that off and I put this circle with the love this and believe on it. And then a little tiny Mickey ears or mini ears actually with black polka dots, even though that is not mini I still feel like it's a little girly and then that's it for this one so that one was a quick and easy one and like you like I said you can see the picture of me and Alice together in the four by six that's there so real quick and simple but I love the way that that turned out then the next set of photos I'm doing is Daisy Daisy is my girl I love her so much she is like my favorite Disney character I would have to say probably my favorite classic Disney character, but her just she's just so cute and sassy. And so I did a full page of her. There were several photos. And I think this is actually like the second layout that I've done with her photos. Obviously having pictures taken at different locations. These were at Epcot. I believe the other ones were at Hollywood Studios. But I love her. And I know that I have several other photos with her as well because she's my favorite character. So I'm going through these three by four cards, trying to figure out what is best. And I'm sorry, it is a little off camera. I tried to zoom in to, so that you could see the details of these three by four cards, but I think I zoomed in a little too closely. So I'm trimming up her autograph, trying to fit it into this three by four. And it, I cut it really close with that. I it even had to cut off some of the, autograph just because I really wanted it to fit on this 3x4 card and I also wanted to cover up that Mickey and Goofy which is at the end and this is actually I think where I realized that I didn't like that autograph book and I purchased another one so there's only maybe a couple more autographs that I have with that paper and then the autograph book that I got after this is just plain white paper because I knew that that would go better in my scrapbook so that hap this is that my happy place is just a, I'm going to leave that card as is, and I'm going to add to this other 3x4 card that I'm working on right now, this bingo card that says best day ever, and then add the this banner that says say cheese on it, and a little gold heart there at the end. I do use my roller stamp. I have the Say Cheese roller stamp, so it has the hearts that are in the kit or in the paper, the same design in a uh, line. So I love adding that when I just need to add a little bit more detail. 
add a camera to the bottom left. And then this is where I'm trying to cover up Goofy and Mickey. So I had that fun circle, but it was too big. It was a die cut and too big. But I found a fun sticker that was the same thing, just a little bit smaller. I was going to add a second heart, but I didn't like the way that they came out. Unfortunately, I tore my paper, so I had to come up with a better plan. So I found this ticket and then 100% fun. And I love that the way that cluster came together. And now I'm going to add another stamp that says all smiles from that same roller stamp and trim up my that three by four card because it had some white edges and then that's it for this one these were super super simple and quick and easy to put together so this is going to be a very short video i hope that you guys are enjoying this series i am loving getting my photos done from disney i have tons and tons more that i need to get done but I am trucking along. So uh, if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more double page layouts or this pocket page series, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope you have a scrappy day.